Hundreds of people gathered at Goddard Memorial State Park for the first ever Gianna Sorella Memorial 5K. The 16 year old Tollgate Jr. died suddenly last November after battling pneumonia and sepsis, a deadly infection. A memorial fund in her name is ensuring her memory lives on and helps other people. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima joins us now with more details. A special surprise at the 5K will ensure Tollgate Jr. Gianna Sorella is never forgotten. Sunday was Tara Sorella's first Mother's Day without her daughter Gianna, but she says she chose this day specifically for the first ever Gianna Sorella Memorial 5K. I needed to wake up and have a purpose. Mother's Day needed to have a purpose for me today, and this turned out to be a pretty good reason. Very emotional. A couple times I it was overwhelming and, and really difficult when the reality of it hit, but uh, there's nothing better for me to do right now. Hundreds of runners and walkers came out to help raise money for the memorial fund in Gianna's name. I'm working with the sepsis committee at Hasbro. I will sit on that committee as a parent advocate. The money raised will not only go towards sepsis research, but also we want to help families that are actually in Hasbro keep it close to home that are dealing with sepsis. Participants sported their G-Strong shirts, number 12, like Gianna's soccer jersey, a number that will forever be hers. I wanted to retire the jersey and make sure that nobody on the soccer team wears 12 again. I thought it was a really good tribute to her um, to show our support and to show how much she meant to the program. Gianna's jersey will now forever hang in the halls of Tollgate High. Letting these incoming students know year after year after year that you won't see a number 12 on the girls soccer team anymore, but let me tell you about Gianna. What a great, great kid she is. The energy, the fun lovingness, the compassion for other people. Gianna's teammates finishing the 5K with sneakers in hand in honor of their friend. That was her thing. She ran barefoot, used to drive the coach crazy. Um, so when that happened, I just saw a whole lot of Gianna. I just felt like if she was here, that's where she was, right in the middle of her team with our girls. And Gianna's mother adds, it's ironic she chose a 5K as the fundraiser because Gianna despised running. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.